why the time is going by? What time is this? Oh, it's certainly the time for which I will jump into Premiere to show you this tutorial. Yeah, it's probably that. So let's just not waste time and jump straight into Premiere to show you how to do this. Let's go. Okay, now we're inside Premiere and of course we need a video to put the timer on. So I chose this video, which is uh, the video from the beginning of this video. And I'm gonna use this one. Now to put the timer, you need to go to the project panel, right click, then go new item and then transparent video. Uh, new window will pop up here, just leave it on default because uh, this is going to make uh, the same size and uh, frames as your video. So you don't need to touch anything, just click OK and there you go, you've created your transparent video. Now you need to put this video into your timeline. To do that just drag and drop it above your video and now extend it the same length as your video. But you can see that nothing happens. That's because we need to add an effect on this transparent video. To add that, go to effects and search for time code. There you go, under video you have time code. Grab this, drag and drop it onto the transparent video and boom, you have the timer here. And now, first of all, we need to remove this uh, symbol at the end of the timer. To do that, click on the transparent video, go to effects and controls and go under time code. And to do that, go simply and uncheck this filled symbol here and the symbol is now gone. Now, uh, I don't want a timer with uh, all of these numbers. So first of all, let me uh, show you what these numbers are. First of all, we have the hours, then the minutes, the seconds and the frames. So uh, I don't need the hours and I don't need the frames, but I'm gonna keep the frames because I love how they look when the timer is going by. So I just want to remove this uh, first number, which is the hours. And you're probably gonna remove it as well because you're not going to need it. If you need it, just skip this part of the video and go to the next part. But to remove this part here, we need to crop this. So uh, to do that, go into effects again and type crop. Get this effect, drag and drop it onto the transparent video and into the effect and controls now the crop will appear. Now to do this uh, just simply click on the crop here and a bound box will appear on your video. Now just crop the hours here like that and go and crop from this side so you can make it even with the other side like that and there you go just click away and you have only timer with minutes seconds and frames there you go now to position this go back up into the video and for the position just make it wherever you want i'm gonna put it somewhere here doesn't really matter and you can see at the back of the numbers we have a uh, box uh, you can make the opacity of that box higher or lower I will leave it a little bit because I like how it looks and now you can see that you have a timer here uh, let me just remove this so I can show you and yeah there you go, you can see you have a timer. But as the title of this video says, a countdown timer, let me show you how to do this as well. So you can say that it's probably easy now, just go into the transparent video, go right click and then speed and duration. Uh, but you can see that the reverse speed are now grayed out. But there is a way to fix this. Go back, go cancel. Again, right click on your transparent video and go nest. A new window will pop up. You can just put the name, leave it like that, or just put timer, click OK, and your video is nested now. Now, if you go on the timer, right click, and then speed and duration, you can see that we have a reverse speed here. Check this box and click OK. And now, if we play the video back, the timer is counting down. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, consider liking and subscribing. And maybe in the next video, I will make a more advanced timer, uh, animated, other fonts, other colors. This is just the, the normal one, the simplest one you can do for your video. And yeah, that's basically it. Hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next one. Peace.